Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. It is going to remain fairly cool as we head into next week but we are going to start to see heavy rain return. Now over the past couple of days it's been fairly dry and through most of tomorrow for many areas it will be dry as well but as we head into Sunday we're starting to see the Atlantic push back in after this brief period of easterly winds and higher pressure that we have seen. As we head into Sunday Yes, long periods of heavy rain looking quite likely across much of England and Wales, pushing northwards as well. And that pattern will continue into next week with plenty areas of heavy rain. Again, it's difficult to pinpoint exactly where they will be because it's all dependent on where the air masses line up and, of course, where the low pressure centres are. Uh, and at the moment, of course, favoured further westwards. But it's very difficult, as I said, to say exactly where we'll see the heaviest precipitation. But widespread rain is looking like it will be returning. As we get into the longer range, we do have some fairly mixed signals. They're all fairly persistent with the theme of cooler westerly or northwesterly flow. Uh, three main models, GFS, GM, EC3, all showing that sort of pattern. GFS, though, does produce a bit of a northerly pattern during the middle to end of, of its run, bringing some pretty cold air indeed. And there are quite a few runs showing some sort of spell like that. And that is a very plausible uh, pattern after we've got this sudden stratospheric warming that we've uh, had over the past couple of weeks um again check out the video from a few days ago on that so that definitely makes a northerly blast or proper high pressure blocking plausible but at this stage we need to see some confidence building in that before we can save any uh, sort of any degree of certainty when that is going to happen at the moment though unsettled and cool is looking like uh, the major sort of pattern we're going to see over the next week or two. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see it is fairly dry at the moment because we still have got higher pressure in. Still has felt fairly chilly over the past few days, but we are still very early on in the spring. So when we do see higher pressure build in, towards the latter part of the spring, we can see some decent warmth to be honest low to mid 20s is very plausible but in early march higher pressure an easterly flow it's always going to be pretty chilly but the best thing we've had recently has been, been very minimal precipitation but you can see rain is starting to drift in through the english channel showing you that that is not going to last all too long now, do you put on the temperatures around 9 p.m you can see it is coldest further northwards towards the center of the high lighter winds therefore allowing those temperatures to fall away more, potentially a frost developing in these regions. Further southwards, mid-single digits, but still feeling fairly chilly. But if you do look at the UKV now, you'll be able to see precipitation is going to make a return, starting in the southwest through tomorrow, and then overnight becoming pretty widespread. Now, as you can see, as we get into tomorrow morning, there could be bits and bobs of rain pushing inland, but for most, it's a fairly dry day. A few showers, few areas of lighter rain in the thicker cloud further north and westwards really only the southwest of england seeing any measurable or significant rainfall but as we head in through the overnight hours we start to see that rain become more widespread and some really quite heavy downpours starting to move in definitely looks a little bit heavier than we saw yesterday uh, probably because there's some slightly milder air masses mixing in even a degree or two can make quite a substantial difference to those rates. Uh, and you can see just lots of greens and yellows pushing in within this rain. For the early hours of Sunday, it clears a little bit, but then we see more rain moving in for the lunchtime period into the afternoon. So you are across parts of southeast England, east England, Midlands, central southern England. Yes, I wouldn't be particularly hopeful for anything particularly dry through Sunday. Maybe some brief breaks, but most of the time it is going to be raining and pretty horrible as we head into monday we continue to see that rain continue overnight but eventually it fades away and into monday we return to slightly drier conditions with some higher pressure building in but for most as we head into tuesday more rain starting to push back in and you see initially more dominating the north and west because we have some brief higher pressure in the south and the east but as i said it's one of those where i wouldn't look it in too much detail because a lot of the other mediums, the longer range runs, yes, lower resolution, but they're not showing this sort of pattern at all with the low pressure dominating a lot more, which would mean that precipitation is more widespread. So even some discrepancies at day three, four, five, 
but the overall pattern is fairly locked in. Wesley's will come back in, will turn it probably a little bit milder, no chance of any frost or anything, but will also turn it a lot wetter and more. Pretty, um, more miserable as well. If you look at those temperatures, you can see overnight tonight, temperatures dropping away towards freezing in the north, mid single digits further southwards. Into tomorrow afternoon, still temperatures maybe 10 to 13 degrees, but it won't feel like that with that easterly flow still pushing in. It's going to likely feel a little bit colder. As we head into Sunday, temperatures not falling away all too low overnight, maybe only 8 to 10 degrees across parts of the central southern England, as we do see cloud and rain pushing in. But that cloud and rain won't let the temperatures rise at all during the afternoon. And look at that, it's probably a little bit colder by 3 p.m. than it was at midnight. 6 to 8 degrees across much of central, northern and eastern England. Further south and westward, slightly dry conditions means it will get a little bit higher. As we head into Monday, temperatures will be higher inevitably because it is drier, but still fairly chilly, maybe 6 to 11 degrees. And then as we head into Tuesday, you start to see actually proper mild air starts to push back in. By Tuesday afternoon, most areas start and get towards the double digits. And by Wednesday, you can see maybe 13, 14 degrees in the eastern areas, but getting swept away by another cold front further northwards. So there could be some mild weather in the medium to long range. We are getting to the time of year where any moderate sort of mild air mass can lift those temperatures into the mid-teens. You don't really need all too much help. Um, you don't need any really insanely warm air masses. If we look here at the upper air temperatures, you can see it's around the low single digits, maybe up towards four, five, six degrees, which isn't actually all too mild for a mid-Atlantic air mass. Um, and that's because we've got Strong sunshine this time of year, and generally the ground is starting to warm up again as we head towards the summer, which of course is going to be here in about 10 or 11 weeks' time. Um, but as I said, we've got to contend with a lot more precipitation and a lot more cooler conditions before that. If you look at the latest GFS, you can see the easterly winds coming in at the moment. Low pressure slowly sliding in over the coming days, going to turn it pretty unsettled into the weekend. And next week, maybe a brief ridge of high pressure in the southeast there, like the UK V showed. But as I said, it's not going to last all too long. The Atlantic getting unlocked again with low pressure sat over the top of us for the middle of the month. You can see, though, there is a brief Atlantic ridge, and this does allow northerly winds to move in for a time, and it will turn it quite a bit colder and you can see minus 10 ice foam getting in so pretty chilly conditions indeed from this latest gfs run for eventually that cold air gets swept away with high pressure toppling back over nonetheless though very interesting seeing that it, as i said it's i would say it's likely at this stage but it's very much a plausible idea because of the sudden stratospheric warming allowing to mid atlantic ridges more applic application of the jet stream uh, making that more likely we will have to see not too much support, a little bit of support from other runs and ensembles. Again, it's in the longer term. And as I said, we've got a lot more to contend with before we get to that stage. If you look at the latest GM, again, easterly winds coming in at the moment. Eventually, low pressure is going to push back in off the Atlantic. And you can see very, very brief ridge of high pressure there from the GM for Tuesday and Wednesday. We're eventually just staying fairly unsettled all the way to day 10. Around day 10, though, we do see that tilt more of a southwesterly, so the only change here, I'd say, is perhaps slightly milder air masses moving in, but generally still pretty unsettled and pretty horrible. If we do look at the latest ECM WF, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there is uh, much better conditions here. Again, easterly winds over the next sort of day or two, low pressure moving back in. Again, brief ridge of high pressure during the early part of the week in the southeast, and then generally just a westerly flow continuing. You can see this low that is moving southwards towards the Azores, perhaps signs of amplification of the jet stream coming, but at this stage, you can see. No, the UK is just kind of sat under lower pressure. Cold conditions to our northeast, and yeah, pretty horrible over the top of us. It is going to be one that we're going to have to watch very closely and just as I said, generally see what is going to happen. Um, but at this stage, pretty consistent that it's going to go westerly, pretty unsettled and remain fairly cool. Maybe chances of some milder conditions coming in. But when it's raining and it's cloudy, I don't think a couple of degrees is going to make it feel too much better. If we do look at the ensembles to finish off, you see generally we are around average, slightly below at times, slightly above at times, but generally average. It's as average you can kind of get with the ensembles. You can see, though, as I said, in the longer range, there are some runs showing colder conditions, including the operational run and a few other anomalous runs. So the risk is there, but at this stage, it's not a strong signal, just a 
plausible chance at this stage. You can see for London, pretty moderate precipitation. I wouldn't say high. Of course, we are closer to the European high, as the as generally going to be Atlantic flow. The West is always going to be favoured for precipitation, especially in that medium to longer range. If we look at the two mean temperatures, nothing exceptional, maybe low teens around the middle of the month if we do see those lows coming in with southwesterly flows. As I said, it's not going to feel great. The surface is going to be cold and wet, but the actual temperatures on the thermometer could be 13, 14 degrees because of those upper air temperatures being milder. If we do compare finally to the ECMWF, again fairly similar, hovering in around average, maybe more above average in that medium range, and maybe less so in terms of cold runs in the longer range, but really in the grand scheme, not too much deviation from what the GFS uh, ensembles were showing either. So fairly consistent pattern, Westley flow is going to get unlocked again from around Sunday, Monday onwards. Maybe high pressure holding on in the southeast, give another couple of drier days there. But most are going to remain fairly cool, are going to turn more unsettled once again. Upper air temperatures could rise towards the middle of the month, so milder conditions could arrive. But really, it's not going to feel too mild when it's raining outside. And of course, there's a small chance, perhaps in the longer range, of some colder hints appearing. But again, I wouldn't put too much into that. We've had so much disappointments over the past couple of months. I would not trust any charts at this stage unless... Uh, I wouldn't trust any charts showing cold weather unless they were in the next sort of day or two. But we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.